Just to review, sound is a longitudinal wave. Uh, when we use the slinky, we push the slinky back and forth. Whereas light is a transverse wave. When we've used the slinky, uh, we move the slinky from side to side. Okay, sound is a longitudinal wave. And if you have a look at this speaker, you can see that the speaker is pushing out the sound. Now, the frequency of the sound wave is the number of waves in a second. And um, if I change, so here we have the frequency. What is, if I can try and get it to two, let's pretend that number says two. Let's pretend that's number two. That means that the speaker is going to be pushing two times a second. If I turn up the frequency even more, so we've got about 21. The, the speaker is harder to see now, but it's pushing 21 times a second. And the units for frequency are hertz. Okay, now on this oscilloscope, it looks like we have a transverse wave what actually has happened is they've taken the longitudinal wave and to make it look to make it easier to see they've converted it to a transverse wave what we're going to do now is we're going to change the amplitude of the wave and we're going to see what happens here so listen carefully and we'll reduce it again so what's happening there is the frequency doesn't change. We still have the same number of waves per second, but the volume gets higher and the size of the wave gets higher. That's what amplitude is. If you have an electric guitar, then you plug your electric guitar into an amplifier, which increases the volume. We're now going to change the frequency and we're going to be listening to see what happens to the sound when we increase the frequency and also what happens to the number of waves on the screen. So increasing the frequency now and decreasing the frequency. As you can see, as you increase the frequency, the sound gets higher, the pitch gets higher and we have more waves per second. We then did a little experiment looking at musical instruments and we found that, for example, this very simple clarinet, we found the shorter the straw, um, which has this little reed at the top that will make a sound, the shorter the straw, um, the higher the pitch. We also found, this is our very simple guitar, the longer the elastic band, the lower, again the shorter shorter the elastic band, the higher the pitch. And this is a very simple trombone. When we blow across the trombone, um, the longer the amount of air in the tube, the lower the pitch, and as we push the tube into the water, so our air in the tube gets smaller, the higher the pitch. So for all musical instruments, to get high pitch, we want short. If you have a look at the tuning forks, you will see that the smaller tuning fork on the right has a higher frequency, 512, at higher pitch than the longer tuning fork, which has a frequency of 256. Uh, I'm not sure you can read this, but a mechanical wave needs a medium or some sort of material in order to travel. Sound is a mechanical wave. It needs, um, for example, air to travel through. Whereas light and all the electromagnetic spectra, spectral waves such as radio waves, x-rays, they can travel through empty space. They're called electromagnetic waves as opposed to mechanical.